All right, good morning. It's not even morning, it's noon almost. Been up for a long time. There's a uh, lot much going on, I gotta be honest. It kind of seems like the entire world has stopped moving. You go to the grocery store, quite embarrassed because I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store and we're out of toilet paper. Uh, yeah, the world is definitely a little crazy right now. A lot of people are afraid, obviously. Some legitimately, some not so legitimately. It's absolutely putting a standstill on everything. I mean, clothing business is being affected. We don't really get much shit from China, but supply chain is definitely being affected in many ways. I mean, I, there's not much to really go do. There's, I can go eat at a restaurant, but that's pretty much it, you know? Sports obviously getting canceled. Everything's getting canceled. NBA, by the time this comes out, the MLB will probably be also postponed and canceled. Every concert in the world has been canceled, and all of you probably already, already know this. It's been an all-encompassing thing the last couple of days. Uh, if you watched the podcast, I went on a crazy rant, tyrant about almost everything bothering me. So today, nothing's really bothering me. I got it all out of my system. But yeah, I don't really know what to do. Everything is on pause for everybody. I go to San Francisco in a couple of days, or like a week, really. Um, not really knowing what's gonna happen there. Don't really know if my flight will get canceled or if, you know, at this point, who knows what they'll do. Who knows if they'll quarantine the entire goddamn world. I, I have no idea, so I'm just kind of playing it by ear. Obviously, like, you guys, I'm listening to the news. Well, not the news, but I listen to the experts talk. You know, doesn't really lead me anywhere. At this point, I'm just kind of at the mercy of society and what everybody thinks, you know? So getting a little difficult to operate <laughs> things in a normal manner. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can draw, which I've been doing, obviously. In my downtown, all I do is draw. I haven't been down to the studio to go paint, but I don't want to go down there either, really, honestly. Uh, yeah, pretty much my update. I got to go to the grocery store. Other than that, I have no idea what to do with myself today. I already went on like a three and a half mile walk, so exercises, I mean, could do something else. I could go skateboarding, but I don't think I want to go do that either. But one thing that did happen is a homie sent me a pair, Nike SB. This is the pair he sent me, uh, which I chose out of his list of shoes. And man, these materials are <laughs> ridiculous. And I don't really mean that in a good way. No diss for the free gift by any means. But this uh, snakeskin-esque material, I don't know if this is going to make for the best skate shoe, honestly. It feels very, very stiff. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll try them. But they are a pair of dunks. So it will uh, at least protect my feet a little more than uh, the vulcanized pair. As a 37 year old, I can't go skateboard every day. You know, I just can't. My body for the last week has felt like it's in a car accident. It is what it is, you know. I'm blessed for even that. My main thing right now is just to go to the grocery store. Let's we'll see what kind of pandemonium there is out there. <sighs> Of course, there's no toilet paper at the store. There's none on Amazon. There's none, oh, you had another box. Okay, no problem. I'm assuming the toilet paper will restock in the morning. When I go to the gym early as fuck in the morning, it's usually when they're stocking shelves, so I'm just gonna assume. <laughs> It'll restock here in the morning or so, the next couple of days. The newest drop has just showed up, so. We got like five boxes we gotta ship. That's happening. What else we got, pups? Nothing. What's going on out there? What's going on out there? Hey! Where are you going? Godzilla has been coronified. Tingu. Coronified. Godzilla. Coronified. Got a couple of masks left over. Useless masks for us civilians. What? What? I don't want either of those. This one you shouldn't even have because it just chits. We're taking this one away. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude. Sorry. What you want? Nobody wants to be in public. I haven't even gone down to the art studio because I don't want to be around none of them motherfuckers. There's just no point. I mean, that whole area is just full of people. I went to the grocery store yesterday just to grab a couple of things. Saw the pandemonium that was going on. Decided I wasn't going to go full grocery shopping. Went today full grocery shopping. Kind of. Half the shit is sold out. I got what, you know, I got a normal amount of food. Nothing double, nothing crazy. You know, I didn't get like all the jugs of water out of the fucking building like these fucking idiots. Like seriously, if you're hoarding supplies, you're a, you're a fucking idiot. Like you think you're over preparing, but what you're doing is you're leaving people in danger. If you take all the soap, how the fuck am I gonna wash my hands? If I can't wash my hands and I get coronavirus, I'm gonna spread it everywhere I go. Don't be an asshole. What the fuck? I'm so 
fucking annoyed with the general public right now. But I hope we get quarantined. Hope all of you have to stay the fuck home because this is absolutely insane. It's insane. It's fucking nuts. Like I just was at the grocery store for two hours getting this shit. The dispensary, same thing. Dispensary, going to get a little bit of weed. Fucking line out the door. Like what the fuck do y'all think is gonna happen? I really, really would like to know. So at this point, I've been calling the last couple of days. I went off on the podcast and now I'm rearing back up. Because at this point, you can't get shit done. Everything is canceled. I understand that there are fucking precautions to be taken. But this, this has gone too goddamn far. I'm going to start fucking beating people up in the parking lots of grocery stores. If I see you with more than one jug of water, I'm going to stab one of them. Not you, the water. It's ridiculous. Fucking ridiculous. So, I don't really know what to do with myself, really. This weekend's probably just gonna be more of the same, hanging out. Me and Scruff are working on a new lookbook. Ern's in New York, who knows what the fuck he's doing. Pretty annoyed by all this. Not that I don't think that there's, you know, a safety concern. There is a safety concern. Some of you are making it worse. Way worse. So the only other thing I've been doing to pass the time is playing Warzone on Call of Duty. I'll probably do a little more of that, a little more drawing. Gotta figure out what to do about California. Obviously I wanna come to California and tattoo, but I, I really don't know. I don't know if it's worth it to travel right now with all of the ridiculousness and the unknowingness and then the talks of them closing California. I definitely don't wanna get stuck somewhere, uh, not here. If something does happen, not that I think there's anything with the virus, I do think that people are gonna fucking overreact and continue to overreact, buy all supplies and this, that, and the third. And the last thing I wanna do is be in a foreign fucking state, not my home. So we'll see what happens. Made myself a peanut butter, honey, and banana sandwich because I feel like. Six. It's another day of most likely pandemonium. I've uh, I've been skipping the gym to just go on a walk out here. Going to the gym later to lift weights in the like, evening because I don't want to be there that long. And I really, I really hate treadmills. It's really boring and fucking annoying. And I'd rather walk around town. So I'm going to go on my morning walk and I'm going to go back to the grocery store just to check. It's on my way. It's on my way. You know, I just want, we have toilet paper. We have enough for like a week. I ordered a fucking really super sick bidet. So I'm not too worried, but I just want to check. I want to check on the ridiculous of humanity. Check on these lame fucks. See what they're up to. Maybe come back with a roll of toilet paper. Maybe not. Either way, we'll survive but still fucking annoyed. I'm annoyed with the world, super annoyed. Saturday morning, it's like maybe seven, a little after. Yesterday, this parking lot, full, literally full. Pretty full right now for 7 a.m. to be honest. This is fucking insane. I thoroughly don't expect there to be anything in here as far as toilet paper goes. We seem to be doing better on food than everybody else. Like we still got frozen pizza and canned goods. Pasta's probably gone. Yeah, 7 a.m. and this bitch is, it's not full. There's more people that are usually here than 7 a.m. Let's go. Canned goods. We're still good on canned goods. For the record, if I see anyone with more than two rolls of toilet paper in their shit, or two packages, I'm tipping their cart and I'm taking their shit. These are all gone. Baby wipes, so you know there's no toilet paper. The baby wipes were in stock yesterday. They're gone now. This is what they got left. Some Kleenex hand towels. Nothing else. Kleenex. Paper plates, naked sponges, that's it. They haven't restocked. I hate people. Like, I hate people. I hate the fact that people, I share the planet with some people. I really do. You guys are fucking losers. There's so many losers in this world. It's kind of ridiculous. No soap. So, you know, when you need to wash your hands, you won't be able to do that. Geniuses everywhere. All the meat, this was all pretty full yesterday. They're restocking. Look at that. They're restocking it because there's plenty of food. Good to go. One thing I'm interested in is pasta aisle. I'm gonna look at the pasta and see what we got. Oh, let's look at frozen pizzas. There's still a lot of frozen food. We still pizza it up out here, dog. We pizza it up. Frozen pizzas are in. But it looks like they probably got hit a little bit. People like red beer and something. Pasta. Definitely don't want to wait in any lines for anything. Damn. Y'all picky as fuck, man. People ain't about that. People ain't about that tricolor routine. Elbows, farfalle, all already inside. Rigatoni, y'all don't like rigatoni? Damn, son, y'all cleaned everybody else out. Boom. Take one of those back to Alex. I will wait in line, I guess. So we have food, but no toilet paper, paper towels, all that shit's gone. Baby wipes, so if, God forbid a baby out there needs to wipe his ass, y'all fuck that kid up. Salsa for Alex, basically. 
And this fucking dude, I swear to God, this lady's like, is this the new normal? Is this how it's gonna be forever? That's literally what this lady asked the clerk. And then his dumb ass goes into a hole. Well, you know, this is the new, this is the new normal at the national emergency. There's a national emergency call and we needed to build a wall. Did y'all run out and buy fucking groceries then? No, you didn't. There's 33 national emergencies right now, currently. This is Trump's sixth, I believe. All this, uh terminology like the word pandemic is uh is rainbows and sunshine dog fucking clouds and doom in this case but i'm over it i'm going home saturday pretty much fuck everybody sorry love you guys but i'm real annoyed with the general population damn dog they even closed the bike path and everything they're closing the bike path <sighs> it's another it's another morning it's a little after six i'm walking back to the grocery store just to see. Alex wants some Oreos, so I'm gonna get her some Oreos and check out, see what happened over the last, uh, I don't know, what, 24 hours, yeah. See how the grocery store has changed. Same store, same everything. See what's going down. I don't know what else to do. Everything else is closed. Probably gonna have to cancel my trip to Cali. Uh, yeah, good times. Good fucking times. Sunday. It's 6.30 in the morning. There's definitely more people here than there ever have been. And they're waiting outside. People are waiting. I'm pretty sure I see a line of people outside. This is fucking so stupid. Like literally, this is the stupidest shit I've ever lived through. It's uh, we got this police thing here now too. So when you get fucking robbed or your toilet paper, they at least know who did it. This is so fucking stupid. There is a fucking line to get into the store. How? Fucking ridiculous is this? Oh. All right, so still no toilet paper. Let's go look at the meat section. Isn't this fun? Isn't it fun coming to the grocery store every day and watching people freak out over absolutely nothing because no matter what, no matter what, you don't need this much toilet paper. The meat section is more packed than yesterday. They're restocking as fast as they can, obviously. Can't stock it fast enough, I bet. Well, I don't know, I've never stocked it. <laughs> yeah. And now they're out of stock. You just told me that that's the last of the meat stock for right now. Oh, look, the baby wipes are back in stock. A couple of packages. That shelf was empty yesterday. All we're here for is Oreos, really, so. Let's find some Oreos. They did a hurting on the canned goods section yesterday. Good God. This was full yesterday. Not today, boy. Boom. Still had Oreos. That's all I care about right now. Priorities. Yeah, see you guys later. All right. So, yeah, every day. But it's Sunday. So, you already know Sunday is going to be the worst. Tomorrow is going to be the real test. Tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday. Let's see. Just uh, reporting live from... The apocalypse. Our continuous coverage of Apocalypse 2020. So far, I feel pretty safe, aside from the fact that I'm surrounded by morons. I also was banned from Twitter for 12 hours for making that statement to people buying thousands of rolls of toilet paper. I will not apologize. I think you're a moron. You probably deserve to get sick. If you're hoarding supplies and you're scared, then you're prepared. So, since you're so goddamn prepared, I kind of hope you get sick because you're endangering everyone else. I don't want to have to come take a shit on your front porch. You're going to be upset about it. But luckily for you, you have toilet paper and you'll be able to clean it up just fine. What's up, bro? You annoyed? Do you want a bone? Do you want a bone or something? <laughs> so this came in. Corona killer, son. Yeah, boy, look at all these settings. I don't need no toilet paper. Kids, auto, massage, dry, dryer, little butthole dryer. Fuck with me, son. Bio bidet. To fuck y'all up. About to fuck up the game, son. About to fuck up the game. <laughs> get the fuck. Hey, get off my carrot. Hey, it's my carrot. This is my carrot. It's mine. 
This is my. <laughs> He's fucking crazy. I knew he was gonna like that thing. Right, this guy? You want him? Look at you. You can't even keep it together. Karen's face is so dumb. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no! <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? Hey! <laughs> You're gonna knock the light off. Bear brick fucking hanging from the sky now. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no, he is like barricading me. <laughs> <laughs>